hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for stopping by today i'll be showing you how to make this iru amboba in a very simple way please subscribe and like this video so guys this is my fabric i'll be using to cut the iru and amboba so we're going to cut the wrapper first so to cut out the wrapper it depends on the hip measurement and how big the person wants the wrapper to be but the hip i'm working with is 48 inches so i'll be using two yards and 16 inches so i'm just going to measure two yards 16 inches when i mean two yards a yard is 36 i'm going to measure 36 two times and then 16 inches and then cut it out that's just for the wrapper. So this is the wrapper. All you need to do now is just fold it maybe half an inch. Just double fold it on two sides like so. Stitch it to the end and then you can attach your rope. Normally I will use a rope of between 28 to 30 inches in length. Depending on if you tie it at the back how if you want it to drop like a bow you can make your rope longer so after stitching it all you need to do is attach the rope right here so that's for the wrapper so for the boba i'm going to fold my fabric into two like so and i'm going to measure the length Normally I work with 26, but if it's more than 26 or shorter, I'm going to leave it like that. So this length is 25. We'll leave it like so. Wait to fold your fabric like so. So now we're going to work with the bust or the hip measurement. The bust I'm working with is 48 inches. I'm going to divide 48 into 4. If you divide into 2, that's 24. Into, into 4, that's 12 inches. Plus 3 inches same allowance. That is 15 inches. So I'm going to measure 15 inches here. And then fold this fabric like so. It depends on how um, big you want your boba to be. So I'm just adding 3 inches to it. To the width of the body. So once you are done, just cut out the width. Next thing we're going to measure the sorry the neck. I'll be working with the width of three and a half inches. It all depends on how wide and deep you want it to be. And the neck depth of five inches. I'll be using five inches for the depth. If you don't want it too deep, you can use four inches. And then you just connect the line. You cut it. Also, if you just notch here, because this is where you'll be attaching your sleeve, so that you know. You don't cut the shoulder of your booba. Now you're going to take this one and measure your sleeve. So I'm doing like an Oleku boba, that's the short sleeve boba. So now for the sleeve, you're going to add 5 inches to the round curve. So the round curve I'm working with is 15 inches plus 5 inches, that's um, 20 inches. Now to fold your fabric, you're going to measure 10 inches because 10 plus 10, that's 20 plus half inch seam allowance. So you're going to fold it. 10 and a half inches for your sleeve and then 11 inches 
for the length of the sleeve. So if you are if you are not doing a short sleeve boba, you can use 10 inches. So you can use 11 inches for the length. It has to be longer than 11 inches. going to notch here now you need bias tape to turn the neck of the bopper you're just going to place your bias tape I'm going to sew it from the right side you start sewing from the right side and then after sewing you turn it and top stitch at the back and then for the sleeve you're just going to open up the body and yeah you can see the sleeve right here like so that's why you have to notch it so that you know the shoulder where you start attaching it. So it's going to fold, attach it like so. Sew it from here to the end. So let me attach the sleeve and turn the neck with bias tape. So now I've put the bias tape on the neck and I've attached the sleeve. You can see. This is it. This is the sleeve, one of the sleeves. So all you need to do now is bend your boba like so and you're just going to sew from the sleeve to the bottom just sew half an inch just sew it like so half an inch when you get here take it down again half an inch to the bottom you do the same for the other side so this is what the boba looks like after closing the sides if you feel like your boba is too short for you all you need to do is cut maybe if it has border like this if it has this kind of edge then you cut another edge and then just place it underneath it and then just to extend the length so that's it I've also gone ahead to attach um, rope to the wrapper you can see I'm also going to sew um underwear for the boba. I'll just use the same satin to sew an underwear for the um boba and wrapper. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.